Today there is some special guest in our show. This is our first show of a series. Like we planned to do this uh, for a long time, but finally we have come up with this. And uh, in this show, like uh, we have an expert, the uh, one of the uh, board director of Videsh Consultants, Mr. Ramesh. He has been almost he we have sent almost mm-hmm. thousands to two thousand students per year. They usually send to them. So you guys and for chasing him for a one month to get him on board uh, commands but like we, we have seen all your commands it's been like banging a uh, comment section so we can't able to answer them all we have already f- answered few of your questions in our previous video so in this show we will try to uh, get the maximum knowledge from him and get extract from him and I'll try my best to get you the most valuable content right now okay and you want to tell anything to your yeah viewers? first of all uh, thanks for your uh, call jakula it's in a long introduction okay <laughs> today i'm sure we are going to uh, answer you each uh, one of your question and uh, previous video also i have seen that okay. we tried our best to interact with the everyone and uh, today we are going to clear uh, all your doubts not waste your time without further ado we'll get into the question directly okay so one of the interesting question i got from uh, viewers is like Will you share me about how to study a master with job in abroad while studying itself? Like how they can figure out this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Generally, um, I'll uh, talk about from the basics and scratch. For example, one student is uh, going to the abroad and studying over there. It means that either we have to grab some international knowledge, nor we are going to change our financial and economical situation in abroad. okay this question i have the answer maybe we can do the part times while we are uh, studying the masters and as well as we can focus on our real career too each and every country having the different option if we can talk about the us and canada or european countries uh, we can't combine the, all the countries together but uh, if we can if we can the based on the country where we are going so the based on the uh, university how we are, we have to plan the both things together that's very important yes my answer is yes so we can do the part time and as well as we can uh, focus on the internships uh, paid internships we can focus oh okay. country and the next question is like which country is good for masters in architecture for expense and other criteria like which country is in good? my view i can say if you are looking for the economically and study wise i can recommend you strongly italy is the best option why because uh, in italy we no need to invest much and moreover if you can see the italy country uh, re- renewed uh, uh, universities are there and as well as it's in a cost effective uh, the expenses would be more or less 3 to 4 lakhs you can finish your masters and do you have the more chance to get the scholarships too like many people are this is my personal question like many people are asking me about like what is what is the overall investment we can do for doing an Uh, masters in us countries like uh, like us or uh, north america or something yeah. like i have been oh. seen many videos on youtube but they are not explaining the main content they are just trying to float around the content so can you explain the exact thing like uh, exact what uh, what yeah sure I, i'll try my best to explain about that uh, if you are taking the options us and canada it's not an a cost effective we have to invest a little higher i can say minimum 15 to 20 lakhs minimum i'm telling you it may differ university to university it may sometimes uh, uh, it may cost higher also 30 to 40 lakhs too okay any country if you want to go to the english speaking country especially we need to write the ilts first and then gre we need to write and uh, if you are going for the management we have to write the gmat okay now we are talking about the architecture students so we have to write uh, minimum ilts and gre if we can crack it down these codes uh, you will get the eligibility and you will get the admission once you crack it down these exams next step would be the application process once we'll apply the applications then we'll get the admission once we'll get the admission we have to uh, for usa we have to get the i20 to show our financial funds then next a step would be uh, we have to book our visa slot and for visa slot uh, we need some required documents uh, based on the documents uh, you have to get the uh, consultancy help why because uh, since it's a uh, new for you you need some someone's guidance those who are already having the experience in this field okay when it comes to canada canada we if we can write the ilts and uh, uh, gre also uh, uh, if you score good 
I'm sure uh, you will get the good scolds. Okay. Yeah. That's the right. cost is the more or less is a, more or less the same. Around 30. 15 to 20 lakhs uh, based on the school, it may differ 20 to 30 lakhs also. Okay, depends on. Yeah. So yeah, and the next interesting question is how can an architect student from India who's come from a middle class family apply for scholarships say for their abroad? Like not everyone can afford like for the, maybe a 20, 30. Like is there any? What is the procedure? What is the back end stuff like we have to do in order to actually get in only scholarship stuff? Yeah, I, I got you. I, I completely got you. Uh, if you want to get the scholarship, as I told you earlier, we have a different scholarship. We do have the merit based scholarship. We do have an uh, income based scholarships. Now we are talking about the income based scholarship. This scholarship, anyone can avail it. Okay. My students are studying past 14 years. We are in this field. And personally, I studied with this scholarship. Okay. Every year, a student will get around 5,200 euro scholarship along with the free education. Uh, maybe you have a lot of questions how students are getting the uh, free scholarships and all. See, for every government, they have the set of rules and regulations. When we, we are not aware about that. So, uh, we every year we used to send around 1,000 plus students. Uh, we, have, uh, uh, we are working with the closely governments and uh, you know, we are trying to know the more information since we are in this field. So, try to come out, uh, come out from the, your background and explore the things. You can, if you want, you can uh, watch some YouTube videos also. Try to interact with the more consultants. You'll understand the ground reality. So, if you have the good uh, bachelor score in uh, architecture, uh, uh, we are definitely support you. And uh, we'll try to get you the scholarships. And uh, we'll also assure you that... Uh, uh, we'll try to get you the good uh, architecture schools for you to do your masters. And next question is like, how to get into the Polytech, you know, the Milano? Like one of the hot question I see when when it comes to Italy, many people are uh, all the students when I, when I just ask to my friends or anyone, they want I want target that college, target that college. And what are the things they see like in student? In if order to you want to get into the polymy, they have in a certain criteria. Almost for this year, first call got finished and we are into the second call. Those who are interested, uh, I am requesting you to start your process as early as possible. Since we are applying the public funded university, uh, we have a lot more competition throughout the world. Uh, so, uh, the minimum criteria would be, you know, 70% uh, is needed to get into the admission over there. Uh, you know, we all know that Polytechnic of the Milan is one of the top school. So just think over about that and uh, start your process as early as possible. Okay. Yeah. So what about the portfolio, portfolio criteria? What kind of portfolio they expect from the student? It's just an architecture mm -hmm. or some extra curriculum? That depends what? upon your uh, work, uh, how you worked in your five years bachelor's, you maybe if you're uh, a finishing 5 h bachelors you have your own portfolios that is enough if you have any extracurriculum activities also that could be considered okay that that will then add an extra yeah extra impact yeah extra impact to get into the college yeah, yeah. okay and the next question is like which college is best option for an architecture students in europe in european countries which college is the best in order to because there are europe is a very huge uh, space but what are the best, I mean, universities so people can enroll? If you see in India, there are lots of universities, but there are only few universities, they have some good value. Because what happens when people, they go into abroad, they stuck them with some mediocre university, then what they will do there? So, can you give some idea like which university they can target or... I understand your question. Uh, I can say when it comes to the Europe, each and every university is an important and uh, they have the uh, their own standards, I can say. Uh, if you can talk about the whole European country, I can't uh, uh, come up with the one solution. We have many more solutions. If you can, uh, you know, if, when it comes to the Europe, if you can see each and every school, I uh, I admired you many, I admired about many schools. Uh, they have their own standards. There is no matter uh, which country we are studying and in, especially in Europe, which school we are studying. It is in a top ranking school or it's in a lower ranking school. Especially for the architecture students, you know, you have two options. Either you have to go for the uh, job or nor you have to go for to build your own uh, career, to start up your own business, right? 
so that is one reason i am telling you since you are studying in europe you have the chance to migrate one country to other country you can do your internship within the 26 countries and as well as uh, you can study one semester one country to other country that's called erasmus for study okay you and have we, like already explained about the erasmus in the previous video, yes right? yes so, but uh, you know if you are studying any country in the europe we can avail these options and opportunities in European countries. And the next question is like, it's very common question, but I got hit up with this. Many people are asking like, how to do masters? Like I have completed my degree in some private college or some mediocre college. Like how I can get into the European, I mean, masters and abroad and wherever. What are the things we should do? Uh, first of all, I'll uh, give you the clarity about this, you know, uh, maybe what people are thinking. We are studying in India and uh, our bachelors are valid to study abroad, you know. I have seen, uh, she's name is Gayatri Naxika. She wrote the comment, if I do five years bachelor's degree architecture in India, can I do master's degree in abroad? Yes, uh, uh, Gayatri, you can absolutely, you can do your master's in abroad. The master's is only two years degree. We have the credit system too. A 120 credits program is there. 90 credits is the study part. 10 credits is the internship part. 20 credits is the thesis part. So there we go, the credit system. Okay. Uh, what people are thinking, uh, uh, am I eligible or not? Uh, what are all the entrance exams should be needed? I, I have to write. So, if you wanted to study abroad, especially in Europe, uh, we no need to write any ILTS and GRE ZMAT. I told you earlier too. So, you can avail this option if you have the 60 percentage also. There is no matter if you are having a 60 or 70 you will get into the school. If you want to the top schools, if you have the higher percentage, definitely you will get into the top schools. So one of the question I usually get is, is I get from students is like, what are the options they have in masters in architecture? What are the degree they all the abroad countries have? Can you explain it in a detailed way? Yeah, uh, students can do the masters in architecture and masters in urban planning and masters in uh, urban design and masters in uh, sustainable building architecture and uh, masters in uh, uh, sustainable building and landscaping also they can avail the options we have lot more uh, 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 courses also so you know ma masters is nothing but the way we are uh, uh, particularly focusing on some uh, some area some subject so we have to write the master thesis and we have to write the masters uh, uh, we have to do the master uh, internship so automatically it will come first. The based on the subject where you are interested, you are interested in design side or urban planning or uh, landscaping, that all depends upon you. So um, coming to our end of the section, I, session, this is the final question. I know you are getting up with some other meeting right now. Mm -hmm. So just the final question. Like I just want to know, you told everything is free on abroad countries, but what, if, what if they want to stay if the government is going to provide them the stay living cost stay back option or stay well. back option or else like uh, they will be able to we have to spend our own parents yeah i understand your question i'll i'll just give you the uh, uh, let me cut the slack i'll just give you the clear clarity okay yeah sure see if anyone wants to go and study abroad they have the questions uh, maybe per month i we have to spend a lot more expenses you know but when it comes to italy we don't need to spend that much amount uh, we will get the free education and as well as along with that, we will get the free uh, scholarship also for living and uh, 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 living and uh, food. Uh, student will get around 5,200 euro scholarship. That is more enough to uh, uh, stay over there. Uh, the cost of living would be around 200 to 300 euro per month. Averagely, I am telling you, if you want to stay 500 and 800 euro also, you can stay. But I am telling you the average uh, cost of living. 200 to 300 euro you can manage with your food and uh, uh, living so we will get the free education along with that we will get the scholarships also per year 5200 euro we will get the scholarship up to two years we will get the scholarships so uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for your videos akula i'm so happy to interact with you uh, i can really appreciate you uh, about your work uh, i am seeing a lot of comments I hope so uh, in future we are going to do the more uh, 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 videos. Thank you, thank you one and all. Uh, thanks. Uh, that's all for today's video guys. I hope this you have enjoyed this video and be stay connected with us. So 
we are planning to make a more useful content in our upcoming days so stay connected and keep creating